Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video and today from the Black Series Phase 4, 4 packaging of The Mandalorian we have Ahsoka Tano. This has been a very looked forward to figure ever since we knew Rosario Dawson was going to be picking up the live action role of Ahsoka. I know myself and many other Star Wars fans just longed for the time when we would finally have her in action figure form. So here she is. The first of the Rosario Dawson Black Series figures. And of course, I'm sure it's not going to be the last because she is getting her own hit spinoff series, Ahsoka Tano. Yes, I said hit spinoff series because we all know it's going to be great. It's going to, Ahsoka's a great character. It's in the hands of Dave. Rosario's playing Ahsoka. She was great in The Mandalorian. She was great in Book of Boba Fett. We know she's going to be great in Ahsoka too. So here it is. There is the new Ahsoka figure. And she looks awesome. Now, it, you're probably looking like, hey, what's wrong with your box there? Yeah, my box uh, got a little crushed. As you can see, my, my box got a little crushed. Not everybody ships perfectly. And even if you do ship well, you can't always account for our Ace Ventura delivering your package, which looks like that's what probably happened to mine. But luckily, my figure is fine. So there's that. That side art profile looks really, really great. I love how she's kind of look, looking over to the side. Looks, looks really cool. You got some words and things there on the back. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. I just really can't wait to get to this Ahsoka. Now, this is also our third Ahsoka figure in the Black Series line. And that's, that's a number not including re-releases. I do not include re-releases because, yes... The Phase 3 Rebels Ahsoka got released, re-released in the Phase 4 packaging with updated face printing, but not a new face sculpt. Although I do feel like it would have been nice if they had redone the face with the Rosario Dawson head. I think that would be cool to see Rebels Ahsoka with that, but eh, it is what it is. So here she is. This is a totally new mold. They didn't even reuse any of the old Ahsoka parts. They just went ahead and did a whole new Ahsoka for our new figure. And that face sculpt looks really good. I mean, really good. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Um, I, I love all the detailing here. She's got, of course, those awesome little side panels on her hips that she's had throughout her character design from um, parts of the Clone Wars all the way through into Rebels and then of course it carried over into the man the Mandalorian she's got her gauntlets I like that she that she went with the armored gauntlet look in this one like she had in Rebels she's got the big cloth knees of course they're not cloth goods but she's got those big cloth knee joints like Boba has the new Boba has but on both legs instead of one. Oh, those knee joints are huge. She's got big knees. Goodness. Ankle joints. She's got shin armor. This is an awesome, awesome Ahsoka. Honestly, I, I think it would have been cool if uh, she came with the Beskar Spear. I know they're going to get us for another Mandalorian with the Beskar Spear, but I think it would have been really cool if... She came with that since the only other figure that we have coming from that episode, which is the HK droid from that episode, isn't coming out until maybe 2023. So I think it would have been really cool if she would have come with that since it debuted in that episode along with this character. And it, it, it just would have been an awesome pack-in accessory. But you know Hasbro's going to get us for one more Mandalorian with that Beskar Spear. And here are her new lightsabers as seen in the Mandalorian and they're a little bit larger than the ones that come with the Rebels Ahsoka the blades are much thicker they have a more pronounced white color to them as they did appear on screen as white in color whereas for example the Rebels Ahsoka's lightsaber blades are more of a bright blue color now of course she can wield her her lightsabers in hand very nicely and since she's fully articulated, you can get all kinds of awesome posing with her. Now for comparison, here she is next to the Rebels Ahsoka. Again, you can see that they're more of a thinner and blue. Even the hilts, 
the hilts are even smaller in comparison. Now, you can chalk that up to um, due to animation, and this was the first six-inch scale Ahsoka where they, they tried to do a realistic take on the character in six-inch scale. So you can kind of chalk that up in the differences because this was also well before Rosaria was even rumored or in talks to be Ahsoka. And then, of course, here she is from Clone Wars Season 7. So here's all three different Ahsokas that we have so far in the Black Series 6-inch line. And you can just kind of see how Ahsoka looks over the years. We have youngest to oldest. And, of course, it's not going to stop there because eventually we're our, we are going to get another Ahsoka from the Ahsoka series. It's it's just it's going to happen. We, we all know it's going to happen. Hopefully we get an, a, a younger Ahsoka from earlier in the Clone Wars because I still very much want a green Sabres Ahsoka in my Black Series collection, and I'm sure some of you do as well. But what do you guys think so far? Which Ahsoka of the three is your favorite? And I love that not only are their outfits totally different, but I also really, really like how their sabers ha are also totally different. I like how we get to see, you know, the, the changes of Clone Wars where she had the big round saber hilts that were almost similar in design to Anakin's in some cases to the slender and curved hilts that she had in Rebels. And then of course we have the slightly larger versions of those for their official on-screen appearance in live action, which looks even better, honestly. The, the detailing on these hilts look so good. So, so good. But yeah, which, which Ahsoka is your favorite? Is it Rosario? Is it Clone Wars? Is it Rebels? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums which of the three Black Series Ahsokas is your favorite so far. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Rebels on this one. Me personally. I love the new Rosario, but I, I like the outfit on this Ahsoka the most. I like, I like this kind of beige outfit that she has going with the little uh, leather padding that she has on, on the side. I, I really just kind of dig this outfit style the most out of the three, and that's kind of why I pick it. Face sculpt wise, I probably prefer Rosario the most, but still, all three figures are awesome. For you Ahsoka fans out there, I'm sure you're gonna have to have all of them, so I guess it doesn't really matter for, for you guys which one is your favorite, but let us know in the comments, let us know in the forums which Ahsoka is your favorite. And which Ahsoka are you looking forward to seeing next? What is an Ahsoka that you want to see in the Black Series 6-inch line come out next? Which outfit? Which scene? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums. And most of them are probably going to be from Clone Wars because that's where most of her appearances are from. But we'll have more appearances sooner than you know. So just stay patient and stay tuned. Check out otherrebelscum.com content. There's something new to the website every single day. Make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on to our YouTube channel so you don't miss reviews such as this one. Follow us on social media. Go to rebelscumshop.com for all kinds of swag and merch. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.